What's up you guys? Like I promised in the last video, in this video, I'd like to share more of a normal life in St. Petersburg with you. I'll be cooking with my mom, I'm gonna go to the dentist, I'm gonna get my hair done, and I'm gonna show you grocery shopping here in Russia. So it's been two weeks already since I landed here in St. Petersburg and I would say the first week and a half was absolutely crazy. It was non-stop. I was seeing my friends and family go, go, go. I was visiting places and I got really tired. But um, I also noticed that I've been doing a lot of normal chores like going grocery shopping. And I thought that would be a cool thing to share with you guys. Since St. Petersburg is a large city, a lot of grocery stores are located in the walking distance from where most people live. That means that there are a lot of tiny grocery stores here and there. These grocery stores are usually smaller and they have somewhat poor selection. Um, and there are also larger stores where you can buy almost anything, just like in the US. And I would say in Russia, it's very, very similar. And today I'm gonna to take you to places like that. So I'd like you to have a little bit of comparison. Uh, we're gonna to go to a larger store and we also go to a smaller store so you can see the difference. So I would say most people don't have cars and it's more of a luxury here. So it's all about walking and public transportation. Something else that I really missed about St. Petersburg is the network of trams. I'm gonna to go to a larger store using the tram. It's gonna be a cute little route, very similar to route number three. McDonald's here. Look. So I brought you to the store that's called literally OK. So I believe this was designed by Russians who lived in the US for a while. They fell in love with large supermarkets and then they came back and they decided to create OK, which is pretty funny. They have really nice selection, and I'm gonna show you around. Since I'm not going to buy Italian food, I just brought this little cart. There are a lot of people here, and I don't really feel comfortable recording a ton, but I'm just gonna show you around. buy groceries you're supposed to look at the number that is associated with the, the item and then weigh it yourself so that's something that's slightly different between the two countries 
where I think in the US, uh, cashier does it for you, but here you're supposed to do it yourself. Mmm, this looks really good. to a smaller store so you can see the comparison. So the place that I'm gonna go in now is called Dixie and I believe it's an American brand because I've seen the same brand in the US. It might be a different store but it's the same name. <laughs> because I have food already um, I'm gonna put it in a special like locker boxes uh, so it's not gonna be wrong again and I'm gonna just show you around. Notice that that second store was way smaller, and it's very convenient if you you know just need a few things. But if but if you need a lot of food, it's better to go to the first one. Much bigger, way more you know variety, and it's just so much better. Today. I'm going to check my teeth. <laughs> um, so Russia has free healthcare, which is awesome. However, um, it's not really that good. So if you want to get something done, like a cleaning, um, most people would go to a private uh, private care. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, my family goes to this place. Uh, it's really good. It's really close. It's like five minutes away from where we live. They're gonna be doing a cleaning and they're gonna check my teeth. So, 
that was it. Um, surprisingly, they didn't do a cleaning because they said that my teeth are clean enough and they, they only do a cleaning if there is like a lot of plaque. So I didn't have that and they said that I don't need it, which is cool. However, I apparently I had a very old uh, filling that wasn't really doing well. So they recommended that I replace it and I decided to do that. Um, it was about, I don't know, like an hour. You can tell that <laughs> my, uh, my lips are all, you know, swollen and numb. Uh, it cost about um, $80, which is quite a bit of money for Russia. Um, and yeah, uh, the rest of my teeth were fine. So I'm really pleased, I'm really happy that I got this done and I don't really have to do with cleaning. Today's an exciting day because I'm gonna get my hair done. Uh, the last time I got my hair done was maybe four months ago and Scott was cutting it so it didn't go well at all. <laughs> and it's been a while. So now I'm gonna be going to our family friend. My family have been going to her for about like 10 years so she's really good. So I'm really excited. <laughs> She was really good, so what do you guys think? So I'm really happy. <laughs> One of the greatest things that I really missed about Russia was cooking with my family. My mom is a great cook. She makes the most delicious food that I've ever had. And today <laughs> we're gonna make chibureki. I'm not exactly sure where does that word come from. Uh, I don't think it's like natively Russian, but it's basically pockets of dough with delicious savory fillings. Most common ones are mushrooms, mashed potatoes, and various other ones. So today we will try to make, let's see, chibureki with mashed potatoes, with uh, cabbage, and pepper with cheese. <laughs> this is our personal favorite. It's something that my grandmother used to make, and most of the time you're supposed to fry them, like deep fry them. Uh, but we don't really like that deep fry feeling, so we're going to actually fry them just um, on a normal pan. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. My mom has her old, <laughs> my mom has her old cooking book of recipes, and it's super old. It has tons of recipes, um, and I've always been super fascinated by how many recipes that she has. <laughs> So we will need to have a little bit of flour, a little bit of baking soda, and a little bit of this kefir. I'm not sure if you guys know what that is. It's basically like cultured milk. It's pretty sour, but it's great for baking. We also need to have some, some eggs and some melted butter. And this is our little helper. Hi! The dough is supposed to be not super liquidy, it's supposed to be more like play dough, like very sticky. 
So that's the consistency we're going for. Put on this guy. So the dough is finally reaching the correct consistency and we're gonna start rolling it. Если что, я тебя снимаю без лица. Нормально? Очень тебе? хорошо. Я вот вижу вот так вот. Хорошо. И, и руки, естественно. Конечно, дальше без рук. We parted the dough into 10 somewhat equal parts and now we're gonna, you know, roll them and make them really thin and we're gonna add the filling. So now it's time to fill these pockets with a filling. So we made 10 delicious chibureki and now it's time to fry them. Most of the time you would have to deep fry them, but our family does it slightly differently. Uh, we don't deep fry them, we just fry them in a regular pan and it makes them, I don't know, taste much better. I personally don't like deep fry stuff. So now that these guys are ready, they look and smell really good. Mmm, these are really good. They have cheese and pepper and that's my favorite filling. I really, really like them and I miss them so much. And you can go to like all the Russian stores in the world, but they will not have the same recipe. So this stuff is really good. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, Maybe one Badoomba?